Hey folks, Stephen Green here at Night Volleyball. I'm down at uh, Kiva, Kentucky, Indiana Volleyball Academy. I'm at their facility right now. You can just see behind me, I'm up in the upper deck watching some practices and uh, you know, making some notes. Uh, had a great first couple of days. People are absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of really great best practices sharing. Um, I've got some notes here, you know, um, again, I the purpose of me doing some of these visits is really to share those best practices and, and kind of see what volleyball is like in all sorts of different places. Um, I will say um, I, I like being here at Kiva because I think, um, you know, they've really built a successful program. Um, you can tell they work hard. Uh, you know, they have uh, just these fantastic athletes uh, which are really supported strong by their school system. And I, and I really did note that when we were chatting away with, uh, with some of the coaches. So uh, just some of the things, you know, we talked about club culture and, you know, again, very consistent. I, I think most athletes will go where the top coaching is. Um, and I think that's one thing with Ignite we want to make sure of is that we do have, um, you know, the top trained coaches um, who really will deliver an exceptional athlete experience. So that's been really neat to see in here. Um, another club, another really successful club, several national championships, and they only practice twice a week. Um, so the more and more I hear the number of practices people are doing, it's telling me that, um, you know, you gotta be efficient with your time, and I think the good coaches can get more in in a shorter period of time. So um, it's just really strong food for thought, we'll say, on what you actually are doing with your practice time. Um, had a great conversation around uh, their Volley Tots program or our Sparks and Fire program. Uh, a lot of consistencies, you know, I think uh, when I first started um, uh, that program, even at our previous club, a lot of that was modeled after the Volley Tots program. And um, it's been great to hear that a lot of the stuff we continue to do is the same, you know, and, and it's probably evolved. It's a little more grander scale down here with a couple of hundred kids in the program. Um, but again, a lot of consistency, motor skill development, and just a lot of fun. It, it truly is how they are getting athletes hooked on the Kiva program. And I think that that's exactly what we want to do with Ignite Volleyball. Um, again, another club that has uh, almost a variance uh, to the master coach program. But again, another club that I've heard every single year at the beginning, they have a coaches meeting to go over almost like a clinic to go over all the different techniques and tactics and stuff they want to see. Um, and again, it is consistent delivery from top to bottom. Love it. We're going to do it with Ignite. It's just going to be the way we do business. So um, that was fantastic to hear again from another club uh, that is doing that sort of thing. Um, and other than that, uh, the other thing I liked is within the age categories, um, the uh, top coaches, we'll say the master coaches, uh, they do run the first few practices uh, with all the other coaches involved. Again, set the, set the stage, um, set the, uh, the expectation as to what they want to see from their team. So um, again, a lot of great best practice sharing. Uh, this is day one and two down here in Louisville, Kentucky. And again, uh, we've got a, their own facility. Uh, this side's got four courts and there's two more courts just in the back there. So um, other than that, look for the next video soon. And until next time, go Ignite.